Welcome to Weld.com. Today we want to show a, a simple demonstration on some stainless steel. I have some 304 stainless steel. Uh, we want to make a, a fillet weld. We have a 035 309L stainless wire. I believe we're set at 21 volts, 335 on our wire feed speed. And we're going to run a tri-blend of gas, helium, CO2, argon mix, and I'm going to run about 40 cubic feet per hour. I need to run a little higher because of the 90% helium in this gas bottle. So let me get some gear on and we'll, we'll attempt to make this weld. I'm going to try to show two different methods here. I want to, um, the, the, I'm basically straight in. I might be pushing this about five degrees forward and that's it. Uh, one side of this, I want to do a slight oscillation rocking back and forth. The other side, I, I want to, I just want to try to go as smooth and straight as possible. So we'll try the stitch method first. Two things to note here. <clears throat> one of them was probably the first one was the sound of this weld. It sounded kind of strange. It was fluffy, uh, not crispy like your, your normal sound on carbon steel. It's kind of fluttering around. That's okay. That's what you want. That's from the helium. Uh, some people may have not have heard that before, but that's normal. Also, you'll see that we have some decent color. Uh, we're not dark gray, so we're not overheating this material. And one of the other things I want to point out, when I got down here to the very edge of this and was going to terminate the weld out here on this corner, I came out to the corner and I pulled my weld back into the fillet weld and kind of filled that in. It's, it's good to do that because if you just came out to the very edge and you terminated your weld, you leave a void out there. A lot of people do that. Either start out here or end up on a tack or bring it out to the very edge and pull it back through so that it has the consistent profile of the full fillet weld. On this part of the weld, I'm going to try to just travel smooth with no stitch motion at all. I'm just going to try to make the, the the bead in a smooth travel speed. I'm gonna be pointing the wire pretty much straight in, not forward, not push angle at all. I'm, I'm just, just barely, maybe a degree or two back toward me. But again, I'm just gonna to try to travel smooth as I go down through this fillet weld. This is the second side of our weld, and I tried to just travel smooth in here. You can see, you know, personally, I kind of have a hard time doing that. That's not, that's not how I learned to weld. I always learned to weld with that little stitch. It has something to do with my travel speed, my consistent motion. So, you know, again, we've made an acceptable weld. You can see a little variation in the toe of my weld where my travel speed varied. I'm sure if I practiced this repeatedly, I'd get a little better at it. Again, uh, we've made an accessible, acceptable size fillet weld with good color, good mechanics. Uh, our toe, the weld is blended in fairly well and our bead profile is acceptable. I hope this helps. Uh, I know that we have some repairs and some stainless fabrication around the house. Uh, this is also used in industry quite a bit. Again, Things are a little different with this blend of gas and our settings uh, quite a bit higher in voltage and wire speed. Also, um, if the machine has an inductance feature, this has a, a nice inductance feature that will help stabilize the arc. Again, I hope this helps. I hope we learned something from this. 
Uh, be sure to subscribe to the videos. New videos come out every Monday.